I'm Kevin Ruth, a product manager at Hazel Analytics. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how we apply big data and AI technologies to regulatory food safety inspections. Now, I'm always reminded about an experience I had as a teenager visiting my family in California. We were wandering around looking for a place to eat and my family absolutely refused to eat at a restaurant. They got less than an A letter grade on its health inspection. Yet that same family, when they came to visit me in Seattle, had no problem eating at restaurants with varying degrees of smiley faces that we use up here in Washington. At the time, I thought this was just an interesting consumer decision-making situation. But I realized when I joined Hazel that the problem of how to evaluate and compare to restaurants' food safety scales into a really thorny problem for restaurant chains and the broader food service and retail industry as a whole. And that's because there are over 2,500 different health departments in the United States alone. Now consider the numbers from the industry as well. The average big restaurant chain has over 2,000 locations and the largest food delivery platforms have over 300,000 restaurants on them. These numbers only serve to magnify the already complex issue of food safety. This messy data environment happens because different levels of government are responsible for setting or enforcing food codes depending on where you go. And while the FDA sets food code guidance at the national level, states, counties, and cities vary in how they adopt it and who is responsible for enforcement. As different governments get involved, things start to change, enforcement behaviors differ, and you end up with over 2,500 ways to inspect a restaurant. Health and departments might use letter grades, smiley faces, pass fail or demerit systems, and about half do not even provide a letter a grade at all. We've even heard from some of our customers that sometimes they're not even sure which health department regulates a particular store. Now, Hazel's been working in this environment for a long time. Currently based in Seattle, we were founded in 2014 out of university research done by the co-founders at Stanford, UCLA, and the University of Maryland. We have a mission to improve public health through technology solutions that connect food service operators and industry providers with regulators. Over the past six years, we've worked with the biggest names in the food industry, some of which you can see here. Now, the regulatory environment in the US leads to three major data problems that make managing food safety really challenging. The first, data fragmentation. This makes it hard to even get the health inspections that our customers want to collect. Second is the lack of standardization. Uh, this makes it hard to evaluate risk, like we saw at a micro level with my family. And last, the massive scale makes analyzing data and extracting meaningful insights incredibly difficult. So how does Hazel help our customers address these issues? We break it down into three areas, collection, standardization, and analytics. We have de developed a technology infrastructure that automatically collects data on a daily basis for over a thousand health agencies across the US, Canada, and the UK. To date, we've collected almost 15 million inspections. For data standardization, we've built technology that normalizes the data, meaning that we map it into common formats. And we also enrich that data, meaning we can fill in missing pieces of information using machine learning and other techniques. We've also developed a proprietary scoring algorithm that enables users to do cross-jurisdictional comparison and analytics called the Hazel score. Which takes us to number three, analytics. We've developed a number of software products that provide tailored insights to the food industry and lets them extract insights and make data-driven decisions. In each of these areas, we've developed deep expertise and developed and deployed leading practices from technology and data science. To provide a few examples, with collection, we've developed proprietary data collect collection adapters with automated intelligence. In standardization, we use natural language processing and other machine learning techniques to categorize and standardize violations and even predict reinspections. And to power our, pro our analytics products, we're deploying leading software development frameworks with a performance focus that provide domain specific and mobile enabled analytics. Now, I'm gonna try and make this real by walking you through how our customers use our flagship product, Food Safety Insights, on a daily basis. We'll walk you through how our system alerts users to high-risk events, allows them to quickly react to them, and how they use our analytics to identify root causes 
and brand level issues. All of these stories are real stories that I hear every day from our customers. And these are also real screenshots of our platform in use. I've redacted or anonymized everything to preserve privacy where necessary. And before we jump in, I wanna introduce you to a typical Hazel customer. Anna is a food safety manager at a major fast casual restaurant chain. She's responsible for food safety and compliance across the US. She's educated with degrees in environmental science and food safety, and previously worked as an inspector for the city of Chicago Health Department. Overall, she manages just over a thousand stores and is a daily user of the Hazel Food Safety Insights platform where she has email alerts set up. So to start, let's see how Anna uses FSI to tactically respond to high-risk events in her restaurants. Now, back in November, Anna got an email alert that she had a number of restaurants that had received a series of three inspections in a short time period. A routine inspection that went poorly, a reinspection where the original issue was not addressed, and then a second follow-up inspection from the health department. This is very rare, and Anna actually got an email alert the day after the second reinspection happened. This triggered her to immediately get on the phone with the restaurant managers and start to figure out what was going on. While Anna was working with the managers to address all the violations they had received, she started to see a pattern. Oddly enough, the way that they were thawing frozen salmon for a salad that they make was being cited as a violation across multiple stores. Um, it was also being, these stores were also located across different states and had different leadership teams. Using the analytics available to her in FSI, she was able to dig into the stats around Marion County, a suburb of Indianapolis, where one of these stores was located. She wanted to see if buying food is a common violation in these areas. Maybe inspectors in Indiana tend to cite this because it creates a risk of foodborne illness. But as we can see from this chart, about 10% of the violation in Anna's restaurants in this area were related to thawing food. But these violations make up only about 2.2% of the citations in that jurisdiction as a whole. So as it turns out, these types of violations are almost never cited for most of the restaurants in this jurisdiction, but they're commonly cited for hers. So Anna knows this is an issue she needs to address and not a normal occurrence. So this led her to look into the recipes and processes they had for making this particular dish. And she found that how to thaw fish was not actually clearly outlined to her employees. She was able to rewrite those recipes. And since then, she has not seen a fish thawing violation. So Anna was able to use FSI to quickly understand what was going on in her stores, see the patterns and violations they were receiving, and address the root cause to fix these issues so it doesn't happen again. Now that Anna has fixed her fish line problem, she wondered if there might be any more temperature related issues that she could look at. So now let's walk through how Anna uses FSI to gain strategic insights about her restaurant's temperature controls. Using some of the strategic analytics features in Food Safety Insights, Anna can look at violations cited across her brand in the temperature category and benchmark herself against a set of competitors. This allows Anna to make a very like-for-like -like comparison with restaurants that are similar to hers, and she can immediately see that her brand is cited more often for temperature-related violations than her competitors. And this has been happening consistently for at least a year. This leads Anna to drill down into her own restaurant chain to try to figure out where her stores are underperforming and where her greatest opportunities to improve are. She can segment her brand still looking at temperature violations to understand which region is experiencing the most problems. Based on this, she decides to revisit their cooling and heating procedures more broadly in their southern stores. Using Hazel Analytics tools, Anna has now established a defined area to improve their food safety and identified a group of stores to get started with. But Anna can also take an even higher level view of her food safety and look at her violation rate across all the categories into which Hazel buckets violations. Looking at this chart, she can quickly see that temperature violations are definitely a problem, but her stores are getting even more violations in the contamination and the facility related categories. Seeing this data made Anna realize that her third party audits were actually missing some things that health departments typically inspect for. 
To address this, Anna uses this chart to drill down into the specifics of why her brand is getting so many contamination and facility violations. She starts by looking at May of 2019 and pulling violations from the inspections that happened that month. Using examples of contamination related violations, she can identify the gaps in her third party audits that her restaurants use and work to integrate new audit procedures moving forward. She was able to use the trends she is seeing in her stores from health department inspections to make improvements to food safety at the brand level. And that wraps up a day in Anna's food safety world. We've seen how one customer used Hazel's FSI platform to go from a timely intervention at the store level to improving things at the brand wide and then drilling back down to the store level. Hazel's platform helps customers analyze their brand and use data to take action to improve their food safety. But it also helps them measure the impact of their work. Let's have a look at a case study from one of our customers. We compared metrics before and a year after implementing our solution to look at how we improved their food safety. And across the board, we saw an improvement. We saw a 6% reduction in violations per inspection and a 5.5% drop in criticals per inspection. The reinspection rate was also cut almost in half, and our um, average Hazel score for this brand rose by over 10%. Data-driven innovations like this have also led to us winning two industry awards with our customers along the way, one with Target and one with the Cheesecake Factory. Now, I've spent most of my time talking here about food safety use cases within a major retail brand, but Hazel also helps out in other ways as well. Our software helps multi-location operators identify high-risk locations and their top food safety issues and we can do benchmarking at a smaller scale like we saw earlier. We also help restaurant and grocery delivery platforms ensure that they are partnering with licensed restaurants and we help provide oversight across their network. And we also have an API that's used by a variety of industries including insurance and for research. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, our mission is to improve public health through technology solutions that effectively connect the food industry with regulators. By serving as a data conduit between thousands of health departments in the food industry, we are amplifying the impact of the valuable work that health inspectors do on the ground every day. Food safety professionals within the private sector, like Hazel customers, are eager to take action on data received from health departments in order to improve their food safety and quality practices. This year, we will be actively working with health departments to help them improve their data publication practices to make sure their data is more actionable for restaurant operators, which in turn will also benefit consumers. To that end, we've recently published a white paper that outlines in great detail the best practices we have observed for health inspection data publication. This white paper is available for free download on our website. Ultimately, Hazel, our customers, regulators, and consumers are all striving for the same goal, which is to ensure food safety and protect public health. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Please like or follow our session, comment on the IFT page if you have any questions, and please always feel free to get in touch either by visiting hazelanalytics.com or emailing me directly. Thanks.